first musicians in the magazine's 117-year history to be inducted as honorary members of the Lampoon, a privilege previously bestowed on such comedic luminaries as Bill Cosby and Robin Williams, among others. Welcome to the seventh Harvard Lampoon Musicians of the Millennium Award Ceremony. Uh, you all know who our guests are. Let's just bring them out right now. Please welcome Rush. As musicians of the millennium, Getty, Alex, and Neil each received a pie from Tommy's Pizzeria. Bob, Bob. Bob, you want to tell us a little something about Tommy's? Well, it's a new place. Just opened up not too long ago. And we got plenty of flyers here for you. The male choir of Our Father Augustus paid homage to the trio with their favorite Rush classic, Tom Sawyer. Monday warrior, we meet stride. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean pride. And while on the subject of Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain, the author of the novel which inspired that song, was also on hand. I wanted to thank you, boys, for, uh, for putting me on the map. <laughs> Uh, ever since that little song you wrote, I'm on every college reading list, and everyone knows my name, and, uh, <laughs> hell, the t-shirt sales are really going through the roof. Uh, now, about that idea you had for a rock opera based on the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County, uh, I think we should talk about that. Uh, I'm not sure. Thank you. Kids. What do you know about life? What do you know about life? What do you know about lying in a hotel room ordering room service? Getting in a limo, sitting around, not being responsible for your stuff, have someone do your laundry. Hey, you know, actually, it's not a bad idea. Party last night? We thought we'd have a party. <coughs> I thought they could drink. Oh, a big Al could show him a few things. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for your hospitality. See you again. We came here to be ridiculed in front of a number of people out here at the Harvard Lampoon uh, Castle. They told us we were supposed to get degrees, but... Know. You guys got pizzas instead. Yeah. They, were, they were supposed to give us some money, too, but... Yeah, we asked them about the checks, and they said the checks were supposed to be up front, but... They kept saying, we, we just have to pick them up at the firm thing. Yeah. <laughs> Does this mean now that we have to call them Dr. Alex Lyson, Dr. Neil Pert, and I Doc, think, Dr. I think, Getty Lee? I don't, well, know. I don't know. I think it's sort of like... Musicians of, uh, you know, I guess we call them goofs. <laughs> I guess. But they are the, the best band of the last 1,000 years, pretty much. No, that's very nice. That's it. Yeah, it's, what of an course, honor. a tongue in cheek on it. Yeah. They, yeah. But you know what? I bet they'll probably treasure that more than, you know, the N number of Junos they've won and the N number of Platinum Awards no, they've true. won. Because it's, it's, it's a very intelligent group of people uh, down there at Harvard University. It's true. Were, well you, were you always a big fan of Rush? Well, Rush was pretty big news for us in high school. Yeah. 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 In fact, I probably did more of this. <laughs> to rush than, than maybe anyone except for Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I can still do it. You got very well as a matter of fact once. I'm 100 percent Canadian. <laughs> We're gonna leave you now with Tom Sawyer from Rush. We'll see you tomorrow. Do this. <laughs> Bye.